Sona is your worst nightmare as a prison because it's not it's not like a typical prison institution in terms of there's guards and you know there's some sort of hierarchy of you know reform it's not that at all it's like it's run by the inmates anyone with sort of policing capabilities is gone you know it's it's like um, it's ruled by basically death threats right and you know that that sort of mentality you know this this the it's the mentality of like the weak will die the strong will survive right and you've you know you've got to to get out of this place impossible you go out, you're, you only go out in a body bag, right? So it is your worst nightmare. So there's, you know, you're trading with anything that you can find to, you know, to, to, to provide, even food, you know what I mean? That's, you know, that's the level we're talking about. It's nasty. It's nasty, you know? You don't want to be there. It's not, it's not like, it's not like, you know, night in the cells, down the lockup. It's not, you know, you just don't want to be there because you're not getting out either. There's no way out of this joint. So that's what it is. It's kind of, um, it's a prison within a prison, if you see what I mean. It's just a nightmare. It's, it's breathtaking. It's absolutely breathtaking. I mean, the scale of it's awesome, right? Absolutely incredible. I've, I mean, I've never worked doing anything like it's great, right? Okay? As, even just, you know, as an actor, as Chris, um, it's incredible. As, um, as an actor working in it, it it's, it's just, the, the whole picture's painted for you. Because you, you cannot believe you're not in a prison. It's that, the detail of, of everything around you, it's just incredible. So it's, um, it's just amazing to work in, you know, because you really get a, you get the feeling of it, the the spirit of it's there. It's all confined, and you know the 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 the, the makeup wardrobe and everything all paints the picture together. And it really, you know, it really does look like you're rolling around in the dirt in the middle of a prison in you know in Panama. It's ridiculous, you know. It's it's awesome. Like it really is good. I play a guy by the name of James Whistler, um, who's not all he seems. That's what I say to my friends, and. Um, you know, a lot of people want his head, and he's, you know, he's going to be involved in some sort of, some, some good flips and turns as the series goes on. Well, he has a, he has a bar fight, um, and he just happened to pick the wrong guy. It was the, it's the mayor's brother, basically, down in Panama, so that didn't go down well, and he's in the prison. Um, uh, an innocent victim, so to speak, right? But um, the, the thing of it is, as it transpires, um, without, you know, saying too much, and, and Michael latches on to pretty quickly, is that, um, like, there are a lot of people wanting Whistler out of this prison. And there are people on the inside and the outside wanting this guy. And if he's an innocent guy and it's just a matter of a bar fight, come on, there's got to be something going on, right? So he's testing Whistler. Whistler's answering back and saying, well, you know, this is genuinely the truth. I'm a fisherman and I got in a bar fight and that's why I'm in here. I don't know what's going on. You tell me. Do you get what I'm saying? So they've got that dynamic going on for a while, which is, which is great. On the surface, they want the, the inmates certainly want Whistler in the prison because basically, you know, there's a bounty on his head. The first one to bring him in gets a free ticket out of there, right? That's a pretty good reason to want him, so that's why they want him. And, like, it doesn't really matter if he's dead or alive, right? It's one of those scenarios. So, um, on the outside, it's a slightly different ball game. you know? It's not those sort of stakes. Um, he's wanted for what he knows, Whistler, you know, in the, in the bigger picture. So um, the inmates don't care, they don't care about it, they want to get out. But um, on the outside, yeah, it's that bigger picture still sort of a mold. So it is two different reasons. And Sophia's Whistler's girlfriend, um, I'm in love with her. I mean, it's easy to see why, right? She's beautiful, she's lovely, it's, you know. And um, so I'm there down in Panama and uh, I'm in love with Sophia. And the thing of it is, I mean, I need some help from, from the outside. And she's really my only hook at this point in time. But, you know... I'm putting her in a spot, so I don't really want to, I don't want to let her know everything because the more she knows, the more dangerous it's going to be for her too. So the, the difficult thing is you're sort of lying to someone you love for, for the right reasons rather than the wrong reasons, but that never makes it right, if you see what I mean.